Hey guys, this is Ramesh Chuk. I'm back with some more exciting news and learning sessions on banking and finance domain. First of all, I'm really sorry for being away quite a long time. But the good thing is, during this period, I was working on my project to launch my own website www.alltechies.com. I have uploaded one video about the website on my YouTube channel. You can visit the site, you can sign up there and start posting your questions and answer on my website. There is one more option to have chat with your friends and techies on alltechies.com. And I'm also planning to come online over the weekend. So please stay connected on alltechies.com and on my YouTube channel for the upcoming news. Now let's come to the topic. So today we are going to start a series of sessions about HSM keys. So let's start with the basics of HSM keys. HSM host security module. Host security module is connected to any issuing or acquiring system or any other banking system where the customer or the card holder data are securely stored in the database and the transactions are also performed securely across the network. So whenever a transaction is done from any post device or any ATM or across the internet through e-com, so there are various validations which any acquiring system or issuing system will perform before approving the transaction or before processing the transaction. Broadly, we can divide the HSM keys in four different levels. Level 1, Local Master Key, LMK. Level 2, ZMK, Zone Master Key and TMK, Terminal Master Key. Level 3 is the CVK, PVK, CAVV, MDK. You might have heard about these keys while working in this domain. And the level 4 is the actual data which are encrypted, which are securely stored in the system. Now, to understand what are these keys, these are further divided into two types. One is KEK, -E Key Encryption Key. And the other one is DEK, Data Encryption Key. What it means. So first of all, I'll explain you what is KEK. -E so KEK -E means as the name itself implies the key which is used to encrypt the other keys for example lmk this key is the main master key of any hsm under this lmk all the other keys whether it is cvk pvk cavv zmk tmk or any key they are stored under the lmk so this is the master key of any HSM. The other one is ZMK or TMK. Zone master key. These keys are also used to further encrypt some other keys. For example, IWK, AWK. These keys are normally encrypted under this ZMK or DMK. The other one is data encryption key. So these are the data encryption keys example. Whenever the data is either generated or encrypted. So these keys are used. And how these keys are stored in the database? We can say either under the ZMK. These can be stored either under the ZMK or this can be stored under the LMK. Now I will give you an example to easily understand this concept how the LMK is used and how the ZMK is used and what are the other keys and how they protect the data. Let's assume this is a laptop and it is password protected. And then there is an Excel sheet inside the laptop. You have entered some data in it. So here I will try to explain you the linking. This is a box. And then this box has one master key, which is the password. So we can say this is the local master key, right? This is the local master key to get inside this box. If someone who does not have this password 
they will not be able to log in to this particular box so this is local master key i hope you would be able to link it now you have successfully logged into the laptop now inside the laptop you have an excel sheet so this is a tool so this tool is similar to what we just now saw data encryption key so i can say this is a data encryption key so you are using this key data encryption key either to encrypt the data or to generate the data or safely you know securely store the data inside the excel sheet and this is the data which is stored so now we understand the three levels one is lmk other one is data encryption key and the third one is data now let's assume you want to share this excel sheet with someone with your friends with your colleagues or someone who is not accessing this laptop what are you going to do and what do you want is the data which is there inside this excel sheet you want to securely transmit through the network through the internet so what are you going to do is you are going to open the excel sheet you are again going to protect this excel sheet with a password there is an option on this tool right so you will protect this excel sheet with the password again so what eventually you are doing here so you have your system you are storing your data inside the system you are using some tool so you have data encryption key now it's time to share it with someone so what are you doing you are sharing this excel sheet over the email and then before that you are putting a password on it so now when the other guy whom you have sent this excel sheet can they open the sheet without this password no so what what exactly this password is this is the use of zonal master key or we can say the tmk here we need to understand whenever we are sharing something with someone over the internet so the data was already secured inside that box but now since this data is going outside the box over the network then what we are doing we are providing an additional layer of security that layer is we are doing it you know we are marking it with password i will give you a real time scenario how these hsm keys are used by any issuing bank for example now issuing bank wants to issue the plastic for any customer as a customer you visit the bank and you ask for a credit or a prepaid card whichever it is it can be a debit as well so when you ask for a card they get all the data from you your name details your contact address everything they get all this information from you and then internally in the system they run some cycle of card generation to generate the plastic so the key part of this chapter is to understand the concept of keys so how the keys are used that we will take help of pin file to understand this concept now the issuing bank will run the cycle of pin file generation so when they run this cycle first of all they will have to generate the pin for the customer pin is what when you enter on the atm or on the post machine so that is your pin but since it is your personal data so this issuing bank have to ensure this is securely transferred to any of the system so in order to generate the plastic first of all what they have to do they have to provide this embossing information and the pin file information to the embosser embosser is the one who creates the plastic who use the information given by the issuing bank in form of some file for example embossing and pin file pin file file and then using this information they can create the plastic card but now since when issuing bank is sharing this information they have to make sure these are securely transferred to this embosser so now let's understand how they do it issuing bank will first of all generate the pin offset or i can say the pin 1 2 3 4 for example they are generating the 1 2 3 4 pin but now since this is your personal pin it's a personal pin of any customer they cannot straight away go and share the 1 2 3 4 with the embosser they have to ensure this pin is reached to the embosser securely 
so before they start creating the plastic so how they are going to do it first of all they will generate the pin now pin is what in the previous example is the data it's a data which you created in the excel sheet now what are you going to do with this pin and how you are going to transmit it to the embosser is something we need to understand first of all to generate the pin which key an issuing bank will use the data encryption key what is that key pvk pvk stands for pin verification key now in this example you just try to correlate with the previous one pvk is the data encryption key which is excel sheet and this pin offset pin is the data which you have written in the excel sheet now what do you need to do you need to share this pin information with the plastic vendor now how are you going to do it you will take one of the key okay what is that key zpk and that zpk key you will use to translate this pin to a pin block the zpk is the zonal pin key which we used and translate this pin we convert this pin to a pin block so now this pin block has to be shared with the plastic vendor now in this case this pin block is the encrypted data right what is that encrypted data actual a pin of a customer but that has been encrypted using some keys so what is that key the zpk the zpk is zone pin key by using that pin key any issuing system converted the pin into a pin block and now they share this pin block in a pin file with the embosser now embosser have finally got the pin block now unless the embosser have this key this key was actually the password of an excel sheet right unless they have it they will not be able to get that pin and emboss on the card so how are they going to do it is this issuing bank have to ensure they are sharing this key zpk with this embosser again through a secure channel so that this embosser can actually decrypt this pin block and can write the pin offset on the plastic so how they are going to do it is issuing bank will take the zpk they will convert this key using some other key now what is that zmk zmk is the key encryption key so what happened here is pvk and zpk both are encrypting the data both are encrypting the data but this zmk is actually encrypting this zpk only and zpk is a key so that is why this is a key encryption key and this zpk along with the pvk these are data encryption key so the set of this dek and kek this together is a password to open the excel sheet to convert this pin block to the pin offset so this is the reason this embosser should know this password so what we did is basically any issuing bank they created their own data they provided the next level of security by encrypting the data using some key so now what embosser will do they will use the zmk first of all to get the zpk once they get the zpk because they already have a zpk but that was under the zmk and they also have the zmk because zmk also we have to exchange so whatever we are exchanging or sharing with a vendor that is actually a secure key or a password of something right so we have to share that password with the vendor only then they will be able to decrypt something but sharing that password also we have done under some secure channel so once the vendor the embosser will have this keys they have the password by using this key they will decrypt the file the pin block and they will generate the plastic so this is the flow issuing bank will generate the pin offset in parallel they will first of all share the password of that file 
which is the GPK and ZMK with the MOSA. They will convert the pin to the pin block. They are encrypting the data. Then they are sharing this encrypted data in the form of file with the embosser and then embosser will use these keys to decrypt the pin offset and then finally will emboss the pin offset on the plastic so now when, as a customer whenever you will go to the ATM or any post device that pin will be used and will be validated by the issuing system so this is how the keys are used in a real time example in a card system they are whenever shared with any of the third party for example an issuing bank is sharing with visa or visa and acquirer also sharing the keys or issuing bank is sharing the key with the embosser and then on the other hand acquiring bank can share a key with the post or atm vendor also so whenever the keys are shared the keys are eventually are the password of some data so whenever these keys are shared even the keys are shared under the secure channel which is the ZMK or DMK, it depends on what is the transaction flow and what is the terminology we are using in any of the acquiring or issuing setup. So in this video, we covered the very basic part of HSM keys. However, in the next video, we are going to take the keys one by one. For example, the PVV, we will take the PV key, the pin verification key, and then we will try to understand what are the HSM command which are passed to the HSM to generate the PVV offset and then what command we use to encrypt the pin block so we will take the keys one by one and this is how we are going to complete this series of HSM sessions so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubt any question you can sign up on my website www.alltechies.com you can post your question there i will try my level best to get back to you as soon as possible thank you once again and stay connected